Hey there, Adrian Rosebrock here from PyImageSearch.com, and today you're going to learn how to use the easy OCR Python package for optical character recognition. So we've already become pretty familiar with using Tesseract for OCR. We've even used OpenCV with Tesseract together to do really cool things like uh, bounding box detection and then OCRing the text inside of each bounding box. The problem with this approach is that it's not the most Pythonic thing in the world, right? The Tesseract library, it's super powerful, but it wasn't fully designed with a Python API in mind. That can make it a little tedious to use. It could easily lead you to scratching your head, searching the documentation, trying to figure out how to pass the right arguments to the PyTesseract library to get the expected output that you want. Now, a different approach would be to use the Easy OCR package. And as the name suggests, the goal of the Easy OCR package is to make OCR as simple and straightforward as possible. That means that it, it has batteries included for the Python API, if you will. That means that it's going to be easier to write the code. The API is going to be simpler. The documentation is going to be more complete. All the things that you would expect of a good quality library in the Python ecosystem, that is what easy OCR represents, but in terms of optical character recognition. So today, what you're going to learn how to do is to OCR text in different languages, You'll learn how to perform bounding box detection of text, and you'll learn how to OCR the text inside each of those bounding boxes as well. And as we'll see, it doesn't take much code at all. Easy OCR truly lives up to its name. So let's take a look at our project directory structure. We have this input images directory here. It has a number of images in different languages that we're going to OCR and visualize the output of. And then here's our easy OCR.py script. This is what ingests each of these images, imports the easy OCR library, and then performs optical character recognition. So if you're using the Jupyter Notebooks associated with this tutorial, then you don't have to do any development environment configuration yourself. The Jupyter Notebook will pre-configure itself. It'll take care of everything for you when you run it. If you're using a local install though, and you wanna use your laptop or your desktop or your deep learning rig or server or whatever you're using, and, and you'll need to install easy OCR, there's a few things that I want to point out. So Easy OCR is built in Torch. That's really cool because that means that you could use your GPU if you have one. So if you're a PyTorch user and you can import PyTorch and you know how to move operations to your GPU, then Easy OCR will feel natural and at home to you. It'll be very easy to utilize your GPU. And in fact, there's, it's a single Boolean argument that you have to supply. That's it. However, since we're going to be using OpenCV, you need to install the OpenCV-Python library, not the OpenCV Contrib Python package, which is what I typically recommend. OpenCV Contrib Python gives you all of the Contrib packages, so it's the full and complete OpenCV install. OpenCV-Python is smaller, and it doesn't include all the extra bells and whistles. So I typically don't encourage PyMage Search readers to install this simplified version because you'll be missing out on some features. But in this case, there's a problem with how easy OCR installs itself that if it won't pick up that if you have this package installed, then it'll install this one as well. So you end up with two OpenCV installs in your same Python virtual environment, which as you can imagine, just wreaks havoc on the Python interpreter. So when you go to install easy OCR and OpenCV, here is what I recommend you do. First pip install OpenCV-Python, not the OpenCV-Contrib-Python one, just the OpenCV Python one. And after that's done, pip install easy OCR, and then you'll be up and running. So now that your development environment is configured or you know, you're following along with our Jupyter notebooks, let's open up easyocr.py and we'll see how all this is done. And I wanna point out this entire script, including comments, 57 lines of code. So Easy OCR is really living up to its name. We start off here by importing the reader class from Easy OCR. And as the name suggests, the reader is going to read an image and extract the text. We have argparse for command line arguments and CV2 for our open CV bindings. If you followed along with our OCR tutorials before, then you'll feel comfortable with this cleanup text function. You've seen it before. This function allows us to strip out non-ASCII text. OpenCV's cv2.putText function, the function we use to draw text on an input image, it doesn't work for non-ASCII characters. So if you were to draw a non-ASCII character or attempt to draw a non-ASCII character with a cv2.putText function, it would just draw a question mark in place of the non-ASCII character because OpenCV doesn't know what to do with it. 
So instead of just dealing with that, what we're going to do is just strip out all of our non-ASCII characters. And we could do that by looping over each of the characters in an input text string and seeing if its ordinal value is less than 128. If it is, we keep the character. Otherwise, we'll just strip the character from the text and then return that to the colon function. Now let's take a look at our command line arguments. The first is image. It's the path to our input image on disk, which will be one of these images here in our images directory. You could, of course, supply your own images as well. And here's the cool thing about EasyOCR is you could provide a comma separated list of languages. So you can OCR text in multiple languages at the same time using OCR. So this is your two letter country or your two letter character code for the specific language. The EasyOCR documentation provides all of the supported languages. So you can just head over to the EasyOCR documentation. I linked to it here from the text version of the tutorial. Here it is actually, you can see the full list of languages on this page. So if you go to it, you'll find the full list of languages that are supported. Be sure to refer to this documentation. It'll help you get set up if you're not sure how to properly install the system, maybe you got an error during the pip install command, and if you want to learn more about what languages are supported. And then finally, this GPU command line argument, as it suggests, should be used whether or not you have a GPU installed on your system. If you do not have a GPU installed, then leave this value at negative one. Otherwise, a positive value greater than zero will indicate that you do have a GPU on your system and you want easy OCR and therefore the underlying PyTorch library to use it as well. So with our command line arguments parsed, we're gonna take that languages string and split it into a list, splitting on the comma character. So that's gonna give us a list of the languages we want OC easy OCR to use when OCRing this input image. We then load our input image from disk and then we instantiate a reader object. Notice the reader object is requiring only a single argument. It's the languages we want to read from the input image, as well as this GPU argument. This GPU value is a Boolean. If you set GPU to true, that means you have a GPU that PyTorch can access. If this value is false, that means you don't have a GPU. So that's why we're checking this command line argument to see if the GPU value is greater than zero. And then from here, OCRing an image is just as simple as calling reader.readText passing in the input image. So literally in two lines of code, we've been able to apply easy OCR. The results from the read text function is this results list, and it's a three tuple of the bounding box coordinates of the text in the image, the OCR text itself, and then the probability. So inside this loop, we're first going to display the probability of the detection and then the OCR text itself. And then we're going to unpack the bounding box coordinates, which is always in top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left order. Now these values are returned as NumPy floating point values. However, if we want to use the put text function or the rectangle function, OpenCV is going to require them to be explicitly cast to Python integers. So that's what we're doing here. We're taking these bounding box coordinates that we returned and then we're converting them to integers. After that, we just call cleanup text on our OCR text from easy OCR. We draw the bounding box of the text and then we draw the clean text on the output image. And the last step, show the output image to our screen. So let's see the script in action. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna run the script. I'm gonna grab this particular usage and I'm gonna pass it into my terminal. And then we'll see that we're OCRing this input image using English and then Swedish. And here is this output image, this sign, fart control. Funny story about this, about this particular image. I had a friend in college who just loved this sign so much that he put it on his bathroom door. So anytime you walked into his dorm in college and went to his bathroom, there was this sign that said fart control on it. He thought it was just the funniest thing in the entire world. And to be honest, it was. It was pretty funny and I'm happy he did it because now I get to share this sign with you. So as you can see, we've been able to use easy OCR to detect the bounding box, the text, extract it, and then OCR it as well. Now let's try a different image. This one over here in Turkish. It's a Turkish stop sign using standard Latin characters. So as you'll see, we're OCRing this input image with English and Turkish characters. And then here is the detected text on the stop sign. And then dir translated to English means stop. 
Now for our final image, let's look at non-Latin characters. Let's OCR an Arabic sign, paste this into my terminal, and you'll see the sign is from an airport. And let's see, wait for the output to return. We have two pieces of text here. So we're looking for both Arabic and English text. We're able to detect the English bounding box right here and draw the Latin characters exit on the output image. And then we're also able to detect the Arabic characters here, which are then displayed to our terminal. Notice that all of this was done in a single line of code, essentially, where we just instantiate this reader, provided the languages, comma separated list of languages we want to detect in OCR. Those languages were provided right here, English and Arabic. Easy OCR took care of everything else for us. So if you're building your own OCR system, keep in mind that Tesseract isn't your only option. You may want to also look into Easy OCR. The library, the package is very simple, intuitive to use. It has a Pythonic API, which is one of the reasons that I really like it. So don't feel like you need to drag this massive, you know, ball and chain of Tesseract around with you. That is a heavy duty library with a lot of dependencies and can be a pain in the butt to configure and use sometimes. Easy OCR, on the other hand, very simple, very Pythonic, and gives you the output that you want. So be sure to consider Easy OCR for your own OCR needs in the future, and be sure to go through the documentation over on the Easy OCR library. They do a really great job of providing this library and maintaining it, and even have instructions on how to train your own custom model, which of course is a very, very interesting uh, use case of OCR, because in all likelihood, the more advanced that you get into OCR, you're gonna want to train your own custom library. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to apply easy OCR to your own projects, and I'll see you next time.